What's up, folks? Jimmy here, Greg the Train, kicking the week off with some uh, mental jewels for you. I haven't done this in a couple weeks. I apologize. I'm really busy with the 12 weeks to speed, teaching myself how to edit and film angles. It's been fun, but you know, it takes some time. But I'm, I'm getting better at it as the days go on. So freeze, freeze up some time for me. So mental jewels. What I want to talk about today is a question. What if? All right. That's a question we all are going to ask when they ever approach with an opportunity or something new. You know, what if it doesn't work? What if I tried and I failed? What if, you know, you wouldn't be human if this question didn't pop into your mind. And what made me think about this was uh, I was thinking of a story. I was at an AvidCare event. And if you're not familiar with AvidCare, you know, great supplement companies, one I utilize with my clients, but they also have a cool business side to things. And I was at an event hosted by a guy doing really well at it. And he was talking about how he got introduced to the company and he was on the phone and just like most people when they first hear about you know the opportunity he was skeptical he goes what if it doesn't work what if I pay the money to sign up and it doesn't work and the guys you know present the opportunity to him goes well let me ask you this what if it does work you know and he said that changed everything for him and that that's pretty powerful and just to complete his story you know he'll tell you all the time how before he was a broke school teacher whose highlight of his day was going home and drinking whiskey because he, he was miserable with how little money he made and that you know he wasn't you know working so hard with so such little results well fast forward a few years later I mean this guy makes almost a hundred thousand dollars a month so in this case what if it does work resulted in you know, financial freedom, time freedom, you know, a lifestyle that many dream to have. And, you know, the point of the story is most people stop at what if it doesn't work? And they never look at the bright side. So they never pursue, you know, the new, the risk or the opportunity or what, you know, whatever, you know, life changing event has presented itself. You know, they, they, they use the what if it doesn't work, what if I fail as an excuse to stay where they're at. And that's exactly what happened. And, you know, what you got to do is you really got to analyze both sides. Again, you wouldn't be human if you didn't think of the, the, the negative side first. If, you, if there wasn't some sort of skepticism, which you should. You don't want to just blindly jump into everything. But you also don't want to just look at the negatives only. You got to look at both sides. And then really figure out what's going to work best. You know, for example, you know, in this guy's story, what if it didn't work out? Oh, well, he lost 80 bucks and he's in the exact same situation that he was already in. So it wasn't really that big of a loss. Like the gain far outweighed the failure. And that's how it is with most, in most situations. You know, sometimes we tend to look at the negatives and then when you look at the negative only, the brain just kind of compounds our current belief system and to coming up with you know negative results that probably will never happen you know the, the worst case scenario you know and you just never look at the positive side so when you, whenever you're approaching something another example would be you know you're thinking of you know getting getting take care of your health right um, you want to hire a personal trainer you know, want to get, get some meal coaching, meal prep service, all the good stuff. You know, well, that stuff adds up. It's not free. It's going to cost you a little bit of money. And you get, get you know, stopped in your tracks. Well, what if I spend all this money and it doesn't work? And a lot of people, they, they come to that when they kind of see how much personal training costs. You know, I get inquiries all the time. They see how much it costs. It's like, oh, you know, the, what stops them is, well, what if I pay this money and it doesn't work? Right? Well, ask yourself, well, what if I invest this money and it does work? Again, look at look at the risk reward. All right, so say you do spend, you know, three hundred dollars a month on a personal trainer. You pay for a meal prep service, probably another few hundred dollars. You know, you invest in a good good quality supplement line, probably another hundred dollars there. You know, that that that's a that's a pretty good investment. All right, now say say for example you don't lose as much weight as you you know you thought you would. Is it really the end of the world? Have you ever, you know, not wasted money before? Have, have you? Is there ever a time that 
you know, that where it's just like, oh, you know, I never, I've never wasted money. I've never made a bad decision financially. But we've all done it. I've seen people when I work security. I've seen people spend more money than that at one night at the bar. You kidding me? But you want to act like it, it is, it's too much of a risk to spend a few hundred dollars to get coaching to take care of yourself? You kidding me? You know, so you got to look at, okay, so what if I spend this money and it does work? Look better, feel better, you don't have to worry about being under a doctor's care, you're lowering your, your risk of terminal illnesses, you'll be an inspiration to others, you'll have more energy. I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you make that investment? Because chances are, if you get help from a professional and you do what they tell you to do, it's going to work. Now, how fast the results come varies from person to person because we all respond differently to things, but the end result will still be the same if you do the work. All right? So, what if? Powerful question. But no, not only do you want to just look at it from the positive and negative side, for like what if it does work, what if it doesn't work, ask yourself this when the what if question pops into mind. What if I don't do something different? So, if you're unhappy with your current circumstances, and you get presented with an opportunity that you know can change, that, that can change them for the better, and say it does require an upfront investment or you to do something different to make a sacrifice. Well, ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm currently doing, what's gonna happen if I don't make the changes? Think about it. And if you're if you're if chances are if you're not, if you're not happy where you're at health wise, financially, things like that, you you're, it's gonna get worse. There's no such thing as maintaining. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. That's the way it is. And most people, because they don't focus on growth, get worse. So ask yourself, well, if I don't start eating better and exercising, what if I don't make this a priority? What do you think is going to happen? Ask yourself that question. You know, whatever it is, what if. Use the what if to motivate you and inspire you to do better. All right, don't just get stuck on using what if to justify your fears of not taking action. Alright, so that's all I got for you today. You know, if you got any questions, hit me up. Send me a message on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the blog. A lot of good content out there. My goal is to help inspire and motivate and teach people how to take control of their health and live a healthier lifestyle.